Hello gamers and collectors, it's Kev Retro here. Um, just a quick pickups video from the um, pickups I had from last weekend, which was the Easter Bank Holiday weekend. I uh, actually went down to uh, Worcester, sunny Worcestershire, to see some in-laws, so I went to a few car boot sales down there. Uh, really quiet over the Bank Holiday weekend at this particular boot sale, there wasn't really much happening there. Um, but I did go around to a few charity shops as well and picked a few bits up. Uh, I haven't been picking much up this week because I'm trying to save some money for Play Expo in Blackpool ne next weekend. I've got a feeling um, it's going to take up quite a bit of cash. So yes, I've just come home from work. Figured I'll do the quick pickups what I've got. So let's get the ball rolling. So at the uh, one of the car boot sales, I found a couple of these plug and play Sega Mega Drive um, DVOs. Got a red one and there's also a blue one. They both have different games on. Some really cool games, you know, all the famous Mega Drive games like your Sonic, Sonic 2, Golden Axe, um, Kid Chameleon, some really good cool titles. The blue one, actually, her nieces and nephews are playing at the moment. But yeah, I was really happy, got both of them for three quid. Can't complain with that. Um, also, the boot sale, I picked up um, Rocksmith on PS3 with the real tone cable. Uh, I've only recently got a PS3, I actually brought it maybe three or four weeks ago as a 3D Blu-ray player. I actually went there cheaper for me to pick up the PS3 for that reason, so I've got a few PS3 titles as well now. Uh, really excited to give this a go. I've got a guitar, I don't really play it that often, so it's a good excuse to bust out the guitar, you know, play a few tunes. Um, and lastly at the boot sales, I actually got a PlayStation 1 game, Dance Stage Party. Um, this came with two of the, the dance mats as well. I don't have any dance mat games. I know a lot of gamers kind of, oh, dance mat, can't be bothered with that, but I fully intend to get smashed with my girlfriend and play some dancing. I think that'd be quite fun. So, you know, don't knock it till you try it, that's what I'm saying. Um, only paid, I think it was two quid for this and the two mats. So, yeah, he was giving it away basically, he just didn't want to take it home, so I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a home here, we'll have some fun with it. And you know, nieces and nephews, the kids will definitely enjoy it, so that's always good to shut them up for a bit. Um, now we're kind of moving on to like what I picked up from the charity shops and um, cash generator, CDX, that kind of thing was on the ground. I got Future Cop LAPD. This sun's glaring everywhere on it, can you see this? This looks like a really cool game. PlayStation 1, obviously it's complete and disc is in really good condition. Um, actually, somebody on my Twitter feed when I put this up told me this was going to be a sequel to the Urban Strike Desert Strike series on the Mega Drive. So it was originally going to be called Future Strike and then it changed to Future Cop LAPD. But yeah, really looking forward to giving this one a go. Uh, sticking with PlayStation 1 as well, I picked up a snowboarding game, Snowboard Racer. Um, it looks alright, 49p. So yeah, can't really complain with that. And V Rally, classic. I've already got V Rally, but you know, this was also 49p, can't really complain with that. Pick it up again. This is actually in better condition than what I've got. It's in really nice mint condition. Discs nice, shiny, and black. I suppose it's really cool when I was a kid the way the PlayStation 1 games are black. No particular reason why they're black, I think it's just that it looks bad ass. Which it does. So, yes, that was the PlayStation 1 games. Then I went to um, CEX. We have GameCube games, and I got Smuggler's Run Warzone for the GameCube for £2. It does not have the manual, which kind of pissed me off, but then I really want to play this game, so for £2 I figured, yeah, I'll pick it up. This is in nice shape. Um, yeah, and it's you know, a Rockstar game on the GameCube, and it looks really fun. So you're driving around, shooting, you've got your... They look like um, quad bike kind of things, like uh, beach buggies. So yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. And in uh, Clash Converters as well, I found another game could be Dave Neo 2, which I've already got on PlayStation 2, but this was only £1, if you can see that. So yeah, doesn't come with manual either. It's just got the um, you know, safety safety manual. But yeah, it's not in bad shape, considering it's Clash Generator. It's, you know, it's alright. For one quid, it's a bit of a filler for the old collection. Yeah, so as far as it goes, that's pretty much all I found all weekend, so it was a very slow weekend. A bit disappointing. Um, 
But at the same time, I'm trying to save money for Play Expo and Blackpool, so you know, not that bad swings and roundabouts. A um, few bits in the post. I wasn't going to buy much on eBay this weekend, but then uh, seeing these for really cheap, I got Gerald Mac Caveman Ninja on Nez. That was like three quid. So I thought, yeah, pick that one up. And this is one I've only been collecting for Mega Drive over the past month or two. And this one I've really wanted for a while now, Splatterhouse 2. So yeah, looking forward to playing these two. And lastly, let's go for a modern game. I've been getting quite into my Wii U lately. And I got given this as a birthday gift. Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Uh, actually, I actually had the first go at this the other day. It's a really cool game. Um, it looks stunning. It's probably one of the best looking Wii U games, even though it's just a platformer. It kind of brought back the old memories when I first played Donkey Kong Country on SNES. How awesome that looked. When I was playing this, I was like, wow, this looks really cool. It's pretty hard. I'm not very good at it. I die a lot. But that's the Donkey Kong way. And that's it for my pickups. So yeah, so um, might try and do the boot sale again this weekend. And then next weekend is Play Expo, so I'll be uh, definitely purchasing this, buying a few bits, purchasing a few bits there. Um, not intending to get any bargains from there. That's the break, but hopefully pick up something, you know. Uh, so yeah, see you all next time.